This one between Magomed Madiev of Russia and Alexander Kisniak of the Ukraine. They both had pretty comfortable wins in those semi finals. That's Madiev in the red corner. He got past Sandy Pavindia 15 9 yesterday. Taken relatively close in the first three bouts. And in the blue corner, Alexander Kizhniak, 13 5. He won against all that by Gabatov of Kazakhstan yesterday. Only really Isan Erdogan of Turkey has given him much of a test by the look of those scorecards. Armando Carbonell of Colombia, the referee. Kisniak, a European junior silver medalist. Watch out for the left hand of Madiev. He throws a really quick left hook. And it comes from nowhere almost. He's giving away a bit in height to Kizhniak. Not the tallest middleweight you'll see. Madiev, that's for sure. Right hand over the top and then left uppercut, really. Good bit of variation early on. And there's that left hand. Kishniak occupying the centre of the ring. Madiev really just circling around him, turning him and turning him as much as he can. Two orthodox stances we have, which we haven't seen all that much actually over the course of the last couple of days. Kizniak trying to work to the body with the left hand. Both fighters have been busy, but most of the punches that they've thrown seem at least to have been taken on the forearms and on the gloves. And that last exchange is the kind of thing that Madiev will want to see. He'll want to see his opponent Kizhniak open up a little bit and try and throw those hooks. Gives him the opportunity just to slip inside one and get to work himself. Nice left hand from Kizhniak.
Bell goes to the end of round one. And that's 5-1 to the Ukrainian. It's been scored. Three fives on his scorecard. The one, the two, and the one taken for Madiev. It's a wide margin. So it all to do for Madiev. The second round absolutely crucial for him now. He cannot afford to slip any further behind and really he's got to try and narrow that gap. Left to the body there from Kizhniak may have landed and these two are going for it. Hammer and Tong to the start of the second. Standing toe to toe in the middle of the ring. Plenty of sting in those shots from Madiev, but they're not getting through. And then when he gets a chance to get in close, Kizhniak uses those longer levers to good effect. He's better at fighting on the inside than you might expect him to be. He's not all that tall. Madiev is relatively short. At the weight, but there's a couple of inches in there, probably advantage. <laughs> Overhand right from Andyev misses the target. That scoreline at the end of the first round, I think, really has given Kizhniak a lot of confidence. There's been a difference about his work in the second round, I would say, even though it, it may come out when we see the scores at the end of the round that he's not as successful, but we'll have to wait and see. But look at the spike he puts into that right hand, really set himself and let that one go. Nice left to the body there from Madiev. That was a good left hand as well from Kizhniak and he just switched out ball there very, very briefly. Good left hand to the body once more. Madiev has got to try and force the pace here and he knows it and I think he's falling further behind. He's having to engage Kizhniak and that is suiting him down to the ground. And I think at the end of this round this gap will have widened. It was 5-1 at the end of the first. Ukrainian, of course, will have just seen his teammate Artem Solovyov defeated in the welterweight final. And the second round has gone 6 3 to the Ukraine, so it's 11-4 now overall after two rounds. Seven-point advantage to take into the final three minutes is one that he hardly looks likely to give away. And we could well be seeing a first gold medal for the Ukraine. That left to the body would have scored a point. And the surprising thing is really that when they get in close like that, you would say that it would generally tend to favour 
the shorter, more compact fighter, which is Madiev, but in truth, it doesn't. That was a really good left-hand counter. Again, that corner still just swinging within range of the ropes. Biggest margin of victory we've seen was in the last bout, 17-7. See Kozumov, Akmazbek of Uzbekistan. And he took a seven-point lead into the final round as well. And it was 11-4 in that fight too, after two rounds. Not seen that left hand from Madiev that we saw yesterday. Good, good jab there from Kizhniak. Just punishes Madiev as he tries to find a way in. And it really breaks your will, that kind of punch at times. He's worn a few of those in the last two, three rounds over the course of this fight. Just measures the distance and again fires in. And there's real weight. And real meaning behind every single one of those shots from Kizhniak. He's pretty heavy-handed. I must admit, I didn't see the first round quite as wide as 5-1 in the Ukrainians' favour, but since then, there's no doubt that he's been the better of the two. He's also the younger of the two. 17 years old, Madiev 18. Referee just asking Madiev to watch his head. Little bit untidy as they engage on the inside there. He dropped his gloves briefly there, Kizhniak. I think he was expecting the referee to call break. Well, into the final few seconds of the contest, and I think we know where the gold medal's going. It'll be interesting to see how that final round is scored. One second left as the bell goes for the end of the third and final round. No great celebrations from Kizhniak, but he will know that he has got this one in the bag. And the European junior silver medalist, I'm sure, will be able to add a youth world boxing championship gold medal to that in his trophy cabinet a little shake of the head there from Madiev in the red corner he did everything he could but it just wasn't enough the winner is in the blue corner Ukraine well 14-7 in the end so the final round was shared three points apiece Comfortable 
for Kijniak. He slipped through the gears when he needed to, particularly in that 